The way robotics and AI has evolved is truly amazing. It doesn't seem hard to believe that we may just be able to own a humanoid in no time. Let's have a look at some of the most exciting bionic humanoids. Number 6. Pepper Pepper is the world's first social humanoid robot able to recognize faces and basic human emotions. Pepper was optimized for human interaction and is able to engage with people through conversation and his touchscreen. Pepper is available today for businesses and schools. Over 2,000 companies around the world have adopted Pepper as an assistant to welcome, inform, and guide visitors in an innovative way. Standing 120 centimeters tall, Pepper has no trouble in perceiving his environment and entering into a conversation when he sees a person. The touchscreen on his chest displays content to highlight messages and support speech. His curvy design ensures danger-free use and a high level of acceptance by users. Number 5. Beomni 1.0 Beyond Imagination is reinventing the world's workforce, creating a future where everyone can have a prosperous, healthy, productive, happy life. A world where every individual has access to great services, high-paying jobs, and excellent health care. A world where distance is no longer an obstacle. With the completion of its latest Beyondi, Beyond Imagination has created the most sophisticated general-purpose humanoid robotic system on the planet. Beyondi 1.0 is the world's first fully functional general-purpose robotic system enabling remote work at a high level of fidelity to be done from around the globe. Possessing a human-like waist, head, shoulders, arms and hands with opposable thumbs, the Omni operators can perform fine tasks ranging from picking up a pinch of salt when cooking to lifting up to 35 pounds of weight per arm. More than just an avatar, the Omni evolves over time from human piloted to fully autonomous operation. The Omni aims to operate in a limitless number of verticals, from medical and complex fine motor control manufacturing tasks to working in agriculture, logistics, and eventually space construction. Capable of operating for four hours and soon for eight on its rechargeable batteries, the Omni is highly mobile. It goes where you need it to go, even if that requires traveling down and over curbs or through snow, sand, and mud. Number 4. Serena 4 a team of more than 50 researchers built Serena 4 at the University of Tehran's Center for Advanced Systems and Technologies. Led by Dr. Agil Yusefi Koma, a professor of mechanical engineering, the group worked for the past four years to develop the new robot. Improving the robot's interaction with the environment was one of the main goals of the Serena 4 project. Serena 4, as compared to its previous models, can track objects more accurately, and new hands gave it better dexterity. These enhancements allow it to manipulate a wide variety of objects, including delicate ones, as well as operate power tools. Serena 4 is also more nimble. Custom force sensors on the bottom of its feet help the robot step over uneven surfaces by adjusting the angle and position of each foot. Walking speed increased to 0.7 km per hour from 0.3 km per hour in the previous generation. While Serena 4 is not a highly dynamic machine, it relies on a whole-body motion controller that continuously adjusts its posture to avoid falls. Serena 4 has much more axes of motion than its previous models, with additional 12 DOF, most on the hands, bringing the total of 43 DOF. The CAS team redesigned several components, developing new lightweight structural elements and small yet powerful custom actuators. As a result, the new robot, at 1.7 meters tall and 68 kilograms, is lighter and more compact than Serena 3. Professor Yusefi Koma has emphasized that he views Serena as a symbol of technology advancement in the direction of peace and humanity, hoping it will help inspire people about the possibilities of robotics. Number 3. Geminoid F Geminoid F looks like a woman in her 20s with long dark hair, can smile, frown, and change facial expressions very naturally. It was developed by the Japanese roboticist Hiroshi Ishiguro. Ishiguro, a professor at Osaka University, is famous for creating a robot replica of himself, the Geminoid Hi-1, a telepresence android that he controls remotely. The new Geminoid female is also designed to be remote controlled by a human operator. In designing Geminoid F, Ishiguro's team and Kokoro engineers wanted to create an android that could exhibit a wide range of natural expressions without requiring as many actuators as other androids they developed. In particular, they wanted the robot to sport a convincing smile, not just any smile, but as Kokore put it, a toothy smile, and it can also make a frown. Whereas the Geminoid Hi-1 has some 50 actuators, the new Geminoid F has just 12. What's more, the Hi-1 robot requires a large external box filled with compressors and valves. With Geminoid F, the researchers embedded air servo valves and an air servo control system into its body, 
so the Android requires only a small external compressor. The new design helped reduce the Android's cost, about Kokoro, which will sell copies of Geminoid F for about $110,000. Ishiguro and his collaborators plan to test the Android in hospitals and show it off at science museums and other venues. Number 2. Toyota THR3 THR3 reflects Toyota's broad-based exploration of how advanced technologies can help to meet people's unique mobility needs. THR3 represents an evolution from previous generation instrument-playing humanoid robots, which were created to test the precise positioning of joints and pre-programmed movements, to a platform with capabilities that can safely assist humans in a variety of settings, such as the home, medical facilities, construction sites, disaster-stricken areas, and even outer space. The partner robot team members are committed to using the technology in THR3 to develop friendly and helpful robots that coexist with humans and assist them in their daily lives. Looking ahead, the core technologies developed for this platform will help inform and advance future development of robots to provide ever better mobility for all. THR3 is controlled from a master maneuvering system that allows the entire body of the robot to be operated instinctively with wearable controls that map hand, arm and foot movements to the robot and a head-mounted display that allows the user to see from the robot's perspective. The system's master arms give the operator full range of motion of the robot's corresponding joints and the master foot allows the operator to walk in place in the chair to move the robot forward or laterally. The self-interference prevention technology embedded in THR3 operates automatically to ensure the robot and user do not disrupt each other's movements. Onboard THR3 and the master maneuvering system, motors, reduction gears and torque sensors, collectively called torque servo modules, are connected to each joint. These modules communicate the operator's movements directly to THR3's 29 body parts and the master maneuvering system's 16 master control systems for a smooth, synchronized user experience. Number 1. Amica Developed by Engineered Arts, the leading designer and manufacturer of humanoid entertainment robots, Amica is the world's most advanced, most realistic humanoid robot, representing the cutting-edge technology of humanoid robotics. Amica is a cloud-connected platform that multiplies the power of artificial intelligence with an artificial body where AI and machine learning systems can be tested and developed alongside Engineered Art's powerful Tritium robot operating system. Its hardware is a development based on Engineered Art's own research into humanoid robotics and built on their advanced Mesmer technology. The robot's congeniality makes it a perfect platform for fostering human-to-human -human connections in any metaverse or digital environment. Amica's combination of artificial limbs and ligaments, actuators and sensor arrays uses cutting-edge technology. However, its lower half is currently non-functional. That's all for today, folks. See you next time.